Tell me about that tool you're using. That's part of a saw blade they've cut, mounted in a hammer handle. Okay, but is that, now would that be kind of an imitation of something they might have used a hundred years ago? I'd say, yeah. It kind of looks like a tobacco knife to cut tobacco with. Tell me about what it. I'm doing now is uh, putting clay in all these seams and around the pan. Mm -hmm. That's to hold the heat in, keep the smoke out from coming out in your face, and, and uh, you know just seals the pan off. How did you know how to do this? Well, We just learn from old timers tell us what to do and how to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, something we always wanted to do growing up, never did get a chance. Of course, we'd go to stir offs, you know, online for old people to have them. And, mm -hmm. and we just decided we'd do it, me mm -hmm. and JP, my brother, and Jess Campbell. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it for several years. You know, just trial and error mostly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this. Uh, this is okay. The clay, the, the mud dries out and cracks, and uh, you have to go back over it some, move your, Here, me. <laughs> seal it back up, you know, keep the smoke mm -hmm. coming out on you when it dries out.
This mill, uh, I don't know how old it is. My cousin bought it. Uh, I'm sure at one time it was operated by with a mule and a pole, you know. And uh, he bought it from the Griffey people on line four. They had a Honda front end of a Honda car on the, out here where the transmission is. And uh, we used that for two or three years and it got where it wouldn't run. And we spent 30% uh, of the time squeezing cane and 70% working on it. <laughs> That's about what they are to it. Okay, now when you were in the days when you were using mules, how much of that would have been there if you were using mules? Just this. Just just this meal, and it had a, a thing on top of it that you laid the pole in. Mm -hmm. None of this other stuff would have been on just the meal itself. The sprocket wasn't there. It just had a thing to lay the pole in. Mm -hmm. Fasten the pole to it. You know. Nothing else was with it. Okay. And it turned a lot slower with a mule, you know, it was slow, mm -hmm. slow going. Mm -hmm. uh, we would speeded it, it up some. Okay. So it would have taken a lot longer in the old days oh, yeah. to yeah, process it, this much cane. It would have took all day to do what we've done, you know, yeah. squeezing it. Yeah. Just squeezing the juice out, it would have took all day probably with a mule. Somewhere in Africa, they grew sorghum, not for the juice, but for the uh, seed pot. They ground it and made, uh, you know, like wheat or whatever. Uh, Mark Stone and Nikki 
route to some kids from one of the Oriental Asian countries up here a few years ago. You remember that? Well, I don't think they came the day of the straw. They came the day before. And uh, just, he said, just as soon as those kids saw it, they said, oh, sugar cane, sugar cane. And they had to have, Mark said he had to get out and cut them some. He said they eat it like candy. He said, we love that. That's where we come from. I notice you mostly cut, take out, strip off the leaves before you actually cut the cane. But some of you do it differently, right? But it's easier, is it, if you get most of the leaves off first? It's easier to strip it and then cut it down. Yeah, okay. The first load of cane being backed up to the mill. No, that's okay. We'll strain this again through a, through a uh, probably a pillowcase or something. Ready? Yeah, thanks. Turn around on the rim. There you go, sir. Oh yeah, hold on a second. Ready? Yeah, thanks. Turn around on the rim. There you go, sir. I want to 
Yeah, hey. Is that right? Yeah, they make it. I hear it. Known the man that worked on me this, this year. Do what? Uh, worked all summer to grow corn to feed the cattle all winter. Okay. We've tried almost everything to get pictures of bears, and all we can get is possum. Yeah, we got a lot of fire under it right now. At this stage, you can boil it. You can boil it hard. But it's a...
Cherry Cobblers. Wow. Yeah, I won't build it up. Can't even stand around. I like to do that when you first start, but now when it gets like this, you have to be careful. Yeah. If we'd have had good wood, we'd have been done with this for two o'clock. One, two, three. Keep it level. If it sloshes on one end or the other, you're in trouble. Downhill. Hold it up there. That's how much you can watch. Put a hundred gallons of juice and made fifteen gallons of molasses. Time, Dean. Can you tell how many gallons? I'd say there's ten gallons there anyway. Is that right?